The process to elect Johannesburg's new mayor has started. The person will replace Jeff Makubo, who sadly died a week ago. For more on this, I'm joined by the DA's Leah Nott. Uh, Leah, thank you so much for making time. How far is that process of appointing a new mayor? I saw uh, the council speaker only saying the process will be finished in due course. Yes, so essentially it needs to be declared with the IEC first, um, and that process needs to, to be finalized so that a, a vacancy can be declared officially, so to speak. So the Structures Act really governs how a mayor is elected and put into a, a municipal council. And in essence, it, it doesn't really speak to the death of a mayor. It speaks to a number of um, uh, where a mayor resigns or they're removed or they cease to be a councillor, but it doesn't specifically speak to such a situation. Mm. And um, I think Section 55 refers to the vacancy being filled when necessary. What we'd like to see as the DA, however, because we are, we're in the midst of a pandemic and we had the, the serious rioting and, and loosing that was happening in Gauteng, um, you know, in the past week, uh, we, we definitely, we need a leader at the helm of Joburg and it's imperative that we have this call within 14 days um, you know, in order to fill this vacancy so that we can proceed with council. Yeah, the, the speaker, as, as you say, indicated that they still are within the 14-day uh, time frame. Mm. So they've got the 14 days to call a meeting. Uh, so what's the rush, they're asking? Well, you know, I mean, in essence, I think they're delaying it for their own reasons, and I suppose that would be because they haven't decided yet on who they want to nominate or field as a candidate, and that's really their business. But uh, I think at the, you know, the crux of it in 2019, when we, when we saw the mayor resign, we held a council meeting within seven days in order to elect a new one. So I would say there is a rush. Um, you know, we, we, we need to get moving. We are right in the beginning of a financial year. We're in the middle of a, a peak in a pandemic. Um, we need political leadership in the city. Mm. And, and, but you are confirming that the IEC process has been completed to declare vacancy. Well, I'm not sure if it's been completed. I know it was in process, and okay. the Speaker's Office did it confirm that it was in process. Uh, the IEC needs to finalize it in, from their side. Uh, they would then come in and basically manage the, the election process of the mayor once the Speaker calls an extraordinary meeting of council. Yeah. So, so the late former mayor led the city through a coalition government. I imagine as the DA, as the opposition, uh, you will be putting your own candidate for the position of mayor? Well, currently our focus, you know, as the DA, we are three months, you know, away, uh, depending on the Mosineka report, uh, you know, looking at an election within the next three to, let's say, uh, six months, so to speak. Um, and, and that's going to be for a full term. So our focus at the moment is, is basically, you know, the local government elections that will be coming up sometime between October and February. We don't know quite, uh, quite when as yet. But, you know, we will be discussing, obviously, internally with our party as to uh, whether or not we feel the candidates and, and who we would field in that situation. But at the moment, we're just waiting for that extraordinary council meeting to be called um, so that we can proceed.